Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button, get that bell notification on so you don't miss out on the next episode of Brockton County in Ontario Theme City. And make sure to hit the like button, the like button helps the channel a lot. Happy Friday and welcome to our weekly City Fix episode. Uh, so in today's City Fix, uh, sometimes we do detailing too on Fridays. Um, we are going to look at transit and traffic and we're also going to start planning uh, out for the future. We're also going to do some zoning in the downtown as well because um, you know, if we're just kind of doing one thing, might as well do a couple things because zoning can, uh, you know, it's more like a passive thing that can happen while we're doing other stuff. So, uh, that's what we are going to be doing today. Uh, there's a couple cars stopped in the middle of the road there. There's people running on the road. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's hop out and let's look at the first thing we're going to deal with today. Well, you, you probably see what's going on here. This is a mess. Yeah. I don't know what it is, um, but there's a couple things we can do to, to try to fix this. Uh, one thing we can do is we can delete this road and force everyone to come along uh, this uh, this road here. But I'm not sure that is the the best thing we can do um, because it's only going to limit the amount of uh, places cars can enter this train station. But I was also thinking a bit more about how I want this train station to be in the future. And I, uh, I don't think we're going to stick with this train station. I think we're going to go for something a bit different and um, we'll change that up. I also want to look at a future growth of transit in the city. Um, and we're also going to look at fixing uh, how our trams access this area. I do like this little loop, uh, loop thing right here. So they stop right here. They let people on go over here. I'm going to add another one over on this side and it's going to act as, you know, like a uh, this one's going this way and then they loop around here and they go back this way and then they you know so they it manages traffic a bit better but there is an incredible amount of people coming off in this train and I just don't think this is gonna work for us um, yeah you see why right <laughs> there's a ton of trap there's a ton of cars here and they're all uh, backed up uh, and it's only backing up everyone else because no one else can get into this train station so I'm gonna change this up um, and yeah, so let's start off by looking at some of the city's needs though, uh, because we had 12% unemployment and that is something we need to look at, uh, at fixing. So we have some industrial demand and some uh, commercial demand, that's the word. So I'm thinking of zoning in some office buildings here. Uh, and the reason why I chose right there is because I'd, it's backing onto res like a big residential neighborhood, and I think uh, some offices here might help that out. It's also going to eliminate some of our industrial demand. Then I'm going to look at some of our commercial demand here, and I think this is a prime spot for commercial. And I think we're going to do the same thing over here. Actually, let's just uh, let's just save this section for a bit later. But uh, I also want to look at getting in a couple more roads as well uh, through this section. So let's see, we have a road that stops right here. I'm going to make a full connection on this side and over here. Then I think I want to get a couple of these alleys in here as well. I think this will look uh, good behind this. Actually, I don't think it should be an alley here. Um, behind this uh, downtown hotel that we have. I think if we get it to just stop right there. Yeah. Gives it a bit of parking access. Um, and we're going to throw an office building behind it. Okay, and then we'll go with some high density commercial over here. And it's going to allow us to zone a, few, a bit more as well. So I think what I'm going to do is, uh, is kind of split this zoning up. So right along here, we're going to throw some high density commercial. And then we're going to come back with some residential. We're then going to take this whole block right here up to about there with residential and we'll do the same thing up to here. And the reason why I'm doing this is I want to use some mixed density zoning here. But the thing is, sometimes you're going to get some of these uh, noise complaints from people, uh, especially if you're zoning residential with commercial. So something you can do to help mitigate that is look at your healthcare. So we don't really have much healthcare out this way. We have one healthcare clinic over here. I think you should look at getting in a hospital at some point, but they are pretty expensive. So I think we're going to right now just stick with another one of these clinics. 
and we are going to throw that right here. All right, so um, let's look at transit now. How about we look at buses first? So the reason why we saved the buses after we did our tram episode on Monday, or Wednesday, sorry, uh, is because I wanted to kind of wait until the trams kind of settled in before we saw what we really needed to do with our buses. So let's take a look at our tram lines uh, and let's see how used they are. So, you know, none of these are really full. There's a couple of that are full over here. I think we could knock this down to about 13 and be pretty comfortable with it. Okay, then we're gonna go to line two. And this is interesting because there, and there's one stop, which is over here, which just has tons of people come in whenever there's trains. So, um, I, I don't really know exactly what we need to do for this because uh, I think we just need, need to kind of wait to see uh, if um, people, like, what I'm trying to say is when, when trains come in, it's going to be like a burst of demand, so we need those, those cramps there. So I think we'll leave it at 10 for now. But now that we've done that, let's, uh, let's look at some buses here. So we don't have any buses going through here, but we do have some buses going through this section. So let's look at this blue bus. Uh, this one loops into our industrial zone and continues right down our tram line and runs right down here and connects to our tram line again. So in reality, the tram line is doing pretty much what uh, this blue bus is doing. It takes you pretty much right into the industrial zone over here, but we do need to get some extensions uh, on that line as well. So what I'm thinking of doing is deleting this blue line and creating two lines, uh, two different lines. So let's find the Queen Street line and we're going to delete it. All right, sorry folks. <laughs> um, then we're gonna look at, how about this, this white line here? This one loops in with this green line, goes around. Yeah, that, that's, that's fair enough. It connects with the tram here. So uh, I think that's fine. It's taking people into the industrial zone. And the green line, which it connects to, I mean, these buses are a bit overkill, but I think it helps get people to their jobs in these industrial zones. This green one goes right through here, connects to the tram. Um, and yeah, this is, this is good. I think we can, we can edit this one though. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this stop, uh, delete this stop, uh, this one and this one. And then what we're going to do is, so it connects to the tram here. I think it's probably fine if we just get it to come up this way loop around I think that's it's pretty good we could probably actually get it to come down another block or so yeah I think this will work and then we'll do the same thing with this red line which is like a mimic of the green line but in the opposite direction so I'm just adding stops so that the lines stay relatively the same it's gonna come down here then I want it to swoop over on this side. Perfect. So it just connects with the green line and runs the opposite direction for this loop. It's not really a, an important bus line, but I think it's uh, effective for what it does. So it has six buses on here. Uh, I think we can knock that down to like three. Yeah, that's good. Um, and then the green line, which we were looking at before, has, you know, it's some, it's pretty, it's being used being used in different locations than uh, everything we have so I think what we can do is we can knock it down to about 12. Uh, that's probably gonna be a bit overkill still but we'll, we'll have to come back and, and touch on it at a later date. Let's look at this dark blue line. So this dark blue line swings out through here goes all the way down into Maple Quarry Incorporated and comes into Thornton Square and turns around. This line is completely obsolete now because the tram just subsumes it. So we are going to delete the dark blue line. Uh, let's see how many people are using it now that the tram's here. Yeah, very few. So delete the line. Perfect. Free some things up. Um, and then let's look at, oh, we already looked at the Packenhampton farm. We didn't look at Packenhampton east-west. 
So this one pretty much just connects with the white line and uh, goes deeper into Packenhampton. Yeah, I think we can uh, reorganize this one a bit. So it comes around this little loop here, goes straight along the tram road. Uh, I don't know if it should go along the tram road per se. Uh, no, we're just going to leave that stop. I accidentally clicked that one. <laughs> um, perhaps what we do is we get this white line to only come into this section here. So if you get off the tram, you hop down this road. I mean, I don't mind it going on Queen Street now that we don't have a thousand buses on it either. Uh, why don't we delete that stop, delete that stop, uh, delete this stop. There we go. And I we have painted roads right here, so I want to just try to avoid them. And we're going to go there. And yeah, I think this should probably be fine. I'm thinking about moving the stop over on, onto this part with the tram. I think that's probably a good idea uh, for the connectivity. Yeah, I think that's probably good. And then let's look at the black line here. So we're sharing stops. I think we're going to continue sharing stops for a little while. But this one's going to continue down this road. And instead of going down High Street, actually, I think we should because we have this bit of a green line here, which I think has also have become obsolete. So we'll just avoid uh, this main intersection here. I'll go up High Street. Don't exactly know why <laughs> um, <laughs> that was happening, but we'll do that. We'll get rid of this stop. Put it back over here. Um, I think we can. Oh, no. There we go. I think we can add a stop right here. Come on. There we go. Add a stop. That's going to swing down over here and back. And I think we can just do this. Oh, no. There we go. And then I want to grab it and swing it off onto this road to avoid the intersection. And let's see. It looks like we're bringing this white line down, down this side. So why don't we try to do the same thing? So pretty much what the black line is doing is it is uh, extending the white line. But it's only running a loop in Packenhampton. Uh, and then this green line, if we're looking at it, which I think might be next, Packenhampton North South, is connecting to this bridge we have here. I know it might be a bit difficult with... Uh... Yeah, there we go. I think I can still do it on this view. Yeah, I can. So it's connecting to this bridge. So what, pretty much what we're doing here is we're connecting uh, these bus lines with this one. So I think this is an important bus line to keep, but I think we can uh, move it uh, a little bit. So. Let's see, now that we have this tram here, I don't think we need to run down uh, uh, Meadow View Street, which I think I'm going to change the name in a second after we're done this, if I remember. Um, and instead, we're going to probably run it from uh, Laura Secord Way. We're just going to run it right down all the way to the park. And I think we'll get it to kind of loop into Thornton Square. Yeah, I think we'll kind of do this Thornton Square and back down. So we'll, this way we'll connect with uh, the tram at two different places, which will be interesting. We'll also connect to the black line as well. Um, and yeah, all right, let's do that. So let's try and just move these stops a bit. Um, I'm just going to try to delete. Oh, no, let's grab the green one. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, we're just going to move this one really quickly. And then I can delete that stop and we'll move this one back. Perfect. We'll delete uh, that. And now we need to just be careful that we're not going to delete uh, the tram stops. All right. We'll delete that. And I'm just trying to get it to a manageable length here. Okay. Now I can kind of manipulate it a bit. Um, so we'll come down Laura Secord Way and we'll just kind of turn around over here. So uh, this is where the bus will turn around. I think we can turn around by the school actually instead. I know it's a bit hard to see what I'm doing, uh, but uh, I hope that 
It'll all make sense very shortly. So people will connect to here, come across the bridge, uh, get onto the bus stop right here. We'll swing down this. Actually, I think we should probably have the bus stop over here. I don't know. This is like a bit of a highway right of way. I think that's probably fine to have the bus stop there. So we'll come down Laura Secord right of way, or <laughs> Laura Secord right, Laura Secord way. That's uh, that's the word I'm looking for. And then we'll continue it. Oops. Uh, here we go. Continue it down here. I'll get the stop right over on this side. So this is where you would get off, I guess, <laughs> to connect to the black line. Um, and this is where you get off to connect to the tram. Um, we'll swing it up here one, uh, two blocks. And hmm, how should we connect to this? Should we just connect right here or should we bring it down here and over? I think we'll just stick with the plan here and we'll connect the next stop. So down lower C chord, we'll connect over here. Yeah, I want to make sure that it stays in the roads that I want it to stay on. So I'm going to actually have to add a few more stops than I guess I was originally hoping for. Another option we have is to swing it out and around. Now I think we'll stick, stick with this residential uh, bus line here. Okay, we'll do that. And then we're going to swing down into Thornton Street or Thornton Avenue. So this is where the tram stop is. I think we'll get them to stop right here. I wonder if that's going to block the tram at all. And or we could get the tram to stop. Okay, the tram's running down the middle here. The tram's running down the, the side here. I think we should get the stop right here. Oh, then that's really blocking up uh, these houses here. Um, okay, we'll stick with the original plan. We'll see what happens. All right, and then we're actually just gonna get the bus to turn around here. It's gonna do a bit of a loop. It's gonna probably hop into the left lane here because the tram's going in the right, and then we'll get it to. Oh darn! I mean, it works if we throw a stop right here. <laughs> nope. There we go. All right, hopefully this doesn't clog up too much. And then I'm just going to drag uh, these stops so that we stay on the same uh, trajectory here. And we're gonna add a stop, we're gonna add a stop. And there we go. So now this green line, you can see, connects to these lines pretty much. Um, technically, I guess I could Oh no, the bridge uh, starts right there. Uh, it goes, connects to these lines here, swings up. It's a bit, bit wonky. I guess technically we could, if, if this causes issues, we could swing it along Queen Street here, but I think leaving the arterial a bit, this is like a, a residential bus. So I think we're good there. Uh, let's look at this light blue line, uh, which is the Riverside Oil line. Uh, not many people using it. Yeah, I think we can knock this down to about three. And let's just see where it goes. So it connects into here. Um, swings down. I think we should probably bring it. Uh, I don't really want to add too many stops, but I think we should probably look at having a stop. At least over here or something. So that people can get closer to their work. There we go. Let's try that. Um, and then swing, swings down here. It will instead go down this road. And we'll just try to get people using it. And I don't think we need this. Yeah, we'll get the bus on uh, to connect over here. Okay, and see why does, why can't it stay on this road? Um, and then it swings up here, eh? 
Okay. So I know some of these bus stops aren't in the best of spots, but I think uh, at the end of the day, it will work out altogether. So this is a bit busy of a little section here. That's fine. But I think what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this bus stop over on this side. I'm going to delete this one and this one. And then we're just, just going to extend it down this road. Um, and we're going to extend it down right through here. Uh, let's go around the park. And we'll swing it back uh, up here. Why can't you just... <laughs> Oh man, sometimes these bus stops don't uh, don't work out the way you want them to. All right, and then we need another one over here to try to keep the, the, the bus route really stable. Um, and the idea here is that if they want to go into the, the ore industry, they'll probably connect onto a tram at some point. But this is pretty much just to bring people from Riverside uh, over into the oil and back, and then also people who are getting off the tram to get on this bus to shift into their places of work. Um, all right, so uh, I'm not too worried about any buses in here because we have a ton of trams through here. Uh, but we did want to think about getting a bus from here to here, didn't we? Down Queen Street a bit and connect into here. Or should we do that? I don't know, we haven't even finished doing these, uh, or reviewing our bus lines. So we have this yellow one, the Bathurston, uh, West industry line. So it's actually being used pretty good. I think six buses is probably fine for it. We could probably drop it down to five, but um, yeah, let's, let's just drop it down to five. All right. Uh, and let's review the line now. So it connects to the green line here, which is a, a pretty big thoroughfare to connect for th with the trams here and over this way. Um, so I think this bus line does a good job at that. And then it connects over here. So what I'm thinking is we change it up now uh, in this section. And what we do instead is we move this stop right here and we get it to try to encourage people. I mean, so people can turn left here. So why don't we get it to, hmm. I think this is fine because I want people to be able to also connect to these tram lines. I think this one block difference is probably fine. <laughs> I don't want people too many uh, stops along the uh, rectangle about. Um, and then we'll get it to do that. We'll get it to turn right. And we'll just get it to swing in here. Um, why don't we add in another one? I know it seems a bit overkill in the stops, but really I'm just trying to uh, maintain a uh, like a proper pathway. I mean, technically, I, th I think we should probably actually stick to this road. <laughs> okay, well, um, looks like we'll be doing this then. I don't think we need one here. Oh, yeah, we do, apparently. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think this will be fine. And then it swings back down. So it's a bit of a dual-purpose bus. Uh, and, yeah, so that's the review of our bus lines because the trams have now taken the north-south completely out. And then we're also going to be running a tram from here over here in the future. Okay, so now that we've done that, uh, let's look at fixing this train. So I'm going to delete this. And we're going to see, I'm going to actually play while I'm doing it, because uh, we're going to see a bunch of people just scramble. <laughs> people choosing what pocket car to <laughs> to use. Let's throw it at three speed, get them out of here. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, well, you know, you can get out of here anytime you want, eh? There they go. They're finally deciding what to do. <laughs> um, all right, so let's look at that um, uh, new uh, 
uh, train that I was wanting to, to use. Uh, it's actually not from the new content creator pack. I don't know why I was, uh, when I was when we we're building this, I was so stuck and, and keen on using those uh, trains, train stations. But I think these uh, content creator train stations um, are just absolutely perfect for regional rail stops, like uh, the one we just deleted. Um, this one's also pretty good for like a, a secondary train station. Um, where, where the heck was it? This one, for example. I love this one for a regional uh, rail stop, but it just it just really doesn't work for this situation. Like this is like a, a center, a central train station. So what we need to do actually is use this one, the multi-platform train station. It has 12 platforms. Uh, in this way, this can be a genuine hub for our trains. And uh, we can get, in the future, we can get like, a, I guess this is the point where I'm gonna talk about uh, the future plans of the city. Um, I'm thinking about building a cottage community out over here. Uh, so it'll also have a train station. Um, I'm thinking about building a fringe city over here. So that will also get a train station. And then I'm also gonna look at building some small towns along the highways, especially where there's there's junctions, because that's uh, typically where towns in those settings kind of pop up. So we could get a, a town over here along the river. We could get one in this little valley here. You know, there's tons of places around this lake uh, to get small towns. And I think with the way our rail is set up right now, just an, uh, an east-west line and then this north-south line, I think it's a perfect opportunity for us to, to get regional rail in this uh, city. So with that in mind, I think we can get them to all have their dedicated platforms uh, this way. So um, let's place this in. I'm just going to use, actually let's move this first, temporary placement. Um, there's also this one, uh, but this way the trains come in in the wrong direction for us. And I want them to come in this way. And then I believe this also has a subway connection to it as well. So in the future, we can do that. So I'm gonna place it down. And this is much more grand than uh, the previous one. Plus there's no cars that can um, <laughs> use this space. So <laughs> that's, a, that's a bonus, um, seeing as what happened last time, right? So uh, here's what I'm planning on doing here. So uh, we'll say we will allow intercity trains on this. Um, and let's just check to see if it does have a subway connection. So this is Metro. We'll have to click this button. Yeah, it does have a subway connection. That is fantastic because in the future, um, perhaps we can get a subway connection out over here. I think maybe we can raise the, the rail line too. Um, but I think this way it kind of gives us the versatility that uh, we are looking for in this uh, central train station. Uh, so let's grab our train lines and let's find this right of way. So we're right here. We're going to connect up. Let's see. So I think what we'll do is I'll just back it up a bit more. And I think the bypass line is going to be uh, right through here, so right in the back end. So we'll be like this is like the main line through, and let's just delete a lot of this rail. And let's try to look at maybe relining it up. So I know I don't really wasn't really planning on doing demolition of the rail line, seeing as I wanted to kind of keep the theme of it being a. Uh, a consistent piece throughout the city's history. But let's do this. It's a bit too steep for me. Now let's click this freeform one. Let's see if that works. Uh, I think that's a bit too, whoa. I don't really like that connection. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold alt down. I want this one to be straight. There we go. And then we'll just kind of work 
on fixing this whole line. I'm just gonna swing it out to the kind of the, the angle I want it to go. And then I'll come back through with um, with move it and readjust them. Okay, so this is kind of the angle what I want. So I'm just gonna hold Alt down and hold the nodes to pull down ever so slightly with your mouse. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna kind of create uh, smoother line connections. There we go. And then I think we will need to readjust the height on this uh, because it looks like it's a bit wonky <laughs> right here. So. Uh, We'll just um, readjust these at a later date because it's not really game breaking or anything like that. And I think what we'll have to do is we'll have to look at in a future video, uh, kind of syncing this through a bit because over here, I don't know if we can really afford to sync this through. This might need to be a bit of a, a cutoff in the city here. Um, so we'll see what we decide to do with the rail line in the future. But uh, now that we have this in place, let's look at continuing these connections. So I think I'm just going to do this. Uh, now I know this has a chance of really messing with uh, the way the trains connect. So I think I'll just work on uh, making sure that these are connected and working a bit better off camera, but just so you get the gist. And I think what we can do is we can run a bit of a bypass as well, just in case uh, the trains get a bit too clogged up in the future. Let's go with a straight road, straight road, straight train track. Just extend it out a bit more. Actually, let's extend it out to about here. And then we'll connect in. And again, uh, I just it's getting late in the video, so I don't want to uh, waste too much of your time fiddling with this. So I'm gonna do this off camera to make it look nice, and you'll see it on Monday's video. Uh, looking all all nice and whatnot. Um, because I think what I'm gonna what I've decided to do is readjust uh, this whole rail line to make it look a bit nicer and let's also look now what I'm thinking here though is like we might not have to need all these connections in the future and instead we kind of get like say like there's three lines coming in from this side um, what we'll do is like say it connects to this one we'll delete this connection right here uh, yeah that's a good idea. Um, I'm, I've actually like really never played with uh, the trains too too much, so I'm kind of excited. Oh come on! There we go. All right, all right, this works. So you kind of get the gist of what's going on, um, and now we need to look at how we're going to connect some of these other objects that we've already looked at placing. So definitely want this in here. Uh, let's see if this kind of obscures the train track. It does a bit, eh? Uh, okay. So that is a bit frustrating. Why don't we look at moving it to this side? There were trees on that side still. Yeah, I don't think there would be a train track right there. So why don't we look at putting it right here yeah and then I was also looking at getting um, was it this one bus Metro hub yeah it fits perfectly in here and uh, this way we don't we can have a north-south line as well and maybe like we what we do is we don't connect one of the other lines so I'll place this in here got a cool little bus hub in here get a metro stop as well and uh, let's just explain what I was doing, what I was talking about. Um, so see how there's 
this line right here, which connects to the train station. Um, what I'm thinking is we can have this one that connects to the train station be uh, the line that runs this way. And then we can have the one that connects to the bus line, the one that runs north-south. Um, so, yeah, big steps forward for the city. Now that we got this in place, um, let's look at fixing these tram lines. So, uh, the idea here is I want the, these trains, because they're coming from the right-hand side here, on the right-hand right side of the road, is that they'll turn around through here. So what I'm thinking about doing now is seeing what happens if we uh, get the trams to... Uh, kind of fit into this section here. So I'm just going to use move it to really warp this around and see how it would kind of work in this sense. Yeah, I don't know if I know it looks a bit stupid, but um, yeah, I think this might just be. I don't know. This could work. I think we'll have to get people to to cross over here. Um, so they turn right here. It's a pretty sharp turn. Uh, yeah, let's try to get this one straight. I don't know about this turn. <laughs> Yeah, this could work. Uh, let's just actually uh, use a different tool for this. So I'm going to go to our tram lines. We're going to go with uh, the one way. And let's, let's actually just delete this line too. And let's kind of try to get a bit of a bit of a straighter line here. <laughs> All right. And then we'll use this. Oh, come on. I mean, we could just do that, eh? That could work. Yeah, this, this kind of works. Okay. So the tram will dock into here and continue along. And this way it gives a crosswalk too. Alright, let's uh, grab this. I'm going to hold Alt. And I just want to get this right in the middle between these two. Nice. Okay, this works. And then let's also look at uh, doing this here. So this will be from the left-hand side. So a car, uh, this tram is going to turn left here into it. That was much easier to do, eh? Okay, let's try to do this again. So we'll just have to move this one over a bit to try to keep the same vibe. All right, so we can kind of decorate this now, and then if we go to our tram stops, oh, we're just on it. Uh, what we can do is we can drag. Oh, nope. Uh, delete that. There we go. Let's drag this one in here. Yeah, so this way we're trying to minimize the amount of traffic in front of the train station. So the tram is turning 
well before the train station and then continuing on and this way the tram is turning like I could get it to turn here and then do a bit of a loop but if we get it to turn this way the left hand turn is well before the train station so if we have to readjust it uh, we will and then this is just a temporary turnaround point so we'll have to leave that there I don't think we need these stops here anymore and uh, I don't think we need to stop here anywhere either because this one's going over here and then our next stops only right here I think maybe we can move this uh, Oops, wrong side. I think we can do that. Um, yeah, I think that might help out a bit more. I don't know. I kind of liked it over there, actually. It's kind of like the whole block is like the tram stop. Um, okay, so we got that in place. And now we can look at running a bus line to connect over here. So uh, let's go with right here at the end. Let's see, how does it decide to leave? So it leaves right here. They all leave right there, eh? Well, that's a bit annoying. Seems like they should be able to leave <laughs> like on this back end here. Perhaps we don't put the bus station right here. Perhaps we move it uh, somewhere else. Because it still fits in this, these blocks that we've made, right? So it can really go anywhere. Hmm. Because we don't really need it for the tram either, right? So we can kind of make our own little bus stop too. Or the, uh, the subway, because the subway, we can also do other things with it. So why don't I look at um, deleting it. And we'll do something else with this area. So, yes, yeah, so let's just delete that bus stop. And we'll look at doing that uh, in a future video. Um, but I think we can still get a bus line that goes through here and maybe connects uh, over this way. Yeah, good idea. Let's get it to stop. Should I get it to stop right here? Sure. And I'll get it to stop over on this side. I'll come back into the middle here. And then we'll get it to um, go along King Street here. Stop right in the middle. And actually, I don't know about that. Uh, it'll stop before King Street, and then it'll stop right after King Street. Oh, no, we can't because I haven't done this. Uh, we haven't finished the, this road yet. So I guess technically it can, but it'll stop over here. And then it will swing into this section over here, right across. We'll connect uh, with these bus lines here. And I guess technically we could get it to connect with the tram line if we bring it in far enough. Uh, that's okay. Let's just get it to uh, loop around. And this will just be a temporary bus stop or bus uh, bus line until we look at getting that tram line in that will run, uh, sorry, right down here uh, into the future. So let's look uh, at that bus line. Let's we'll just name it uh, something. We'll call it Temp Bus Line, and it has seven buses on it. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll leave seven on it for now because I think people will actually use it. Um, and last thing we need to do before the end of the episode is look at how uh, people were using the taxis before, because if we remember, there was like a million people. Yes. Yes, it's working. People are coming over here to use the trams and look at that. They can all kind of get on. So that inner city train stopping right in the middle. Interesting. Okay, so let's uh, look at taxis. So we can uh, use the taxi stands inside of these train stations, or tram stops, and it'll kind of look like uh, they kind of belong there. Oh, this one's uh, one just a bit wider than uh, the other one. 
Oops. Let's undo that. Grab them both with shift. Hold alt down. Grab this one. Oh, no. Don't hold alt down. There we go. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's good enough. And then now I can look at decorating uh, these up with a bit of trees. Uh, there shouldn't be too many trees here, but I want to put uh, one on these corners here. Ah, so there is still, I was wondering how many people would still be pulling out their little pocket cars. Um, so I think this is something we'll have to keep working on in the future to make sure that we can keep a main train station on the main avenue here because I think that's that's a big goal for this is to kind of keep the theme here, uh, keep the theme alive, you know? Um, so I think another thing we can do is just make sure that um, cars will yield to the tram line. Uh, and we'll do the same thing right here. Oh, uh, there definitely needs to be crosswalks uh, on this one. I don't mind if they don't crosswalk over there. Uh, right here, they sh maybe don't have crosswalks, but there should be crosswalks at the main intersection. Right, let's go through. Okay. Oh wait, no, I don't want them to go through. Yeah, okay. I think this, this all looks technically fine. Uh, so we'll have to see if if this ever gets any better. Otherwise, we're gonna have to look at uh, deleting this road, leaving this as a tram only road, and forcing cars, uh, or maybe we just make this the tram only road in the future, and forcing cars to have to leave through here and have to arrive through here. But, um, you know, I think maybe, like even if we add parking lots over here, it's not gonna make a difference, it seems. Okay, another thing we can look at oops, another thing we can look at doing is looking at the spawn point but these are only for the passenger trains and then if we look at this one this isn't for people trying to leave this is more for like police taxi garbage trucks right so um, I'm thinking I can I can try to swing this over here and we can get them to like get back over there so maybe that'll take some pressure off of the intersection but also perhaps we actually do the other side because there's a lot of uh, pressure on that side of the city right now there we go and you know I'm hoping with the amount of transit options we have here uh, it will encourage people to use them so perhaps if we get the subway going people will stop using their pocket cars Yeah, I mean, a majority of the people are running over to these tram stops. Except at this crosswalk. Can I turn this light off, too? That might help. If I just get... Uh... Oops. And just make this a yield. All right, so let's uh, look at just kind of maybe decorating a bit more. Let's kind of mimic what we're doing on each side. So three trees, and then we'll use these. Uh... Oh, that's too big. So these things really help uh, make the space feel a bit more uh, lived in. We'll use these ones because, oh, not those ones. These ones look like some bushes, too. Yep, very nice. And we'll have to wait and, oh, you know what would be great here is a fence. 
Uh, let's find a metal fence. The park fence works great. Uh, so what we'll do here is we'll take turn off guidelines and we'll go from about here and we'll swing it down to about right here and we'll go around like so I think I did, I did this, didn't I? There we go, and then we'll swing it right down to here. And then down, nice. And then people will just kind of run over here. Yeah, all right, this kind of works good. Um, oops, I don't kind of like, I don't really like that over here. I think maybe this will look a bit better. Uh, so I kind of like the idea of keeping it a bit open. But I do like having, perhaps we, we'll, we'll delete this and we'll save it for another uh, regional rail build. Yeah, okay, because I want to keep this um, pretty much open the entire way. Uh, I think maybe to kind of limit the amount of uh, trucks that come along here and stuff like that, I'll make these offices uh, along here and then we'll make this whole thing commercial. There we go. And then last thing we'll do, just to try to fill in these spaces here, I'll get this connector road to run right through. And uh, we'll make this... Uh-oh, not to pause the game. Um, and we'll make this all commercial too. And then let's make uh, this office, make that an office. Yeah, I think this will be good. Let's try to get some residential right through here. And I think we can get some residential right here too. Yeah, I'll go with an office right here. Okay, so now I'm going to need to uh, extend the district out over to here. I think I'll just subsume this entire, actually I think I can just do that too, right? Yep. Uh, we'll do this entire district right here like this. And then since we're talking about city planning, what I'm thinking is we put the uh, campus area right from here out like so. All right. Very good, very good. So, uh, with that in mind, now that we have these uh, these European buildings, I want to delete them, and it uh, it works great. So, um, I hope you liked today's video, everyone. We looked at transit. Um, we edited some things. Traffic is uh, went down a percent. But that's to be expected now that we have a ton more people everywhere. <laughs> uh, unemployment is still pretty high. Why don't we just look at zoning in just a bit more. And we'll look at some commercial activity right over here. Go low density over here because uh, I don't mind having low density at this section. Um, yeah, that's fine. Yep, okay, and then right here we'll go low density, uh, and then we'll transition to an office on the corner, and we'll go with some commercial, oh come on, okay, so we got that filling in, um, yeah, I, th I think we'll look at a, doing, uh, look, we'll look at the transit really quickly, and we'll see if everything's okay. Uh, three vehicles. I think we need to go back up to four at least. Okay, and then look at the yellow line here. We have 15 people waiting up here. It just, uh, a bus just passed at 30. Okay, we'll have to go back up to eight. 
Um, we got, oh, this is the temp line. I don't think it's saved. Uh, we got a lot of people using this one. Yeah, but I think it's manageable. So we'll save that. Uh, the Corella line. I think we'll have to bump this back up. Let's go to 14. Uh, the Pack and Hippin Farm line. Uh, not many people using it, so I think we can bump this down to like four. Probably even less than that, but uh, Pack and Hippin North South. Uh, some people are using this one. This is pretty busy down here. Uh, let's add one bus. And the Riverside Oil Line. So this one has four buses. I think we can probably go down to three, but we will leave it. And then we'll look at the trams. Okay, so the red line is now a lot busier now that we've taken off the buses. So let's add five to this. And we'll see if this kind of helps. It's probably a bit overkill with adding five, but um, I really like the trams. Okay, and then we look pretty good here. We have, an, oh, we, have, we have an empty tram, so that tells me we probably have too many. So let's just take one off. And we'll probably be good. Okay, well, uh, that worked out great. People are using the taxis too, which is fantastic. And I will catch you next time. I know we tried to end it a bit earlier, but I wanted to continue that. Uh, can you build in a bit? So uh, let's try to find. Hmm, I should be in this. I'll catch you next time. Peace out.